वेलकम बैक टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज टू न्यूज स्टोरीज फर्स्ट वन इज फ्रॉम द अमहारा रीजन ऑफ इथियोपिया कॉल्स आर बिंग मेड सोशल मीडिया मैसेजिंग इज अंडर वे प्लानिंग इज बिंग डन फॉर मैसिव प्रोटेस्ट अक्रॉस अमहारा रीजन अ डेट हैज बीन फाइनलाइज हु इज बिहाइंड दिस कैंपेन is this campaign for protests linked to ethiopian federal government's decision to dismantle all regional forces secondly viewers where is tadase where the tigray's top military officer tigray back new sources are sharing pictures and videos of gatachos meeting with the tigrayans living in addis ababa uh sadkan was there some others were there too where they was not seen uh firstly viewers amhara region of ethiopia where uh, a relatively unknown organization is trying to mobilize people for massive demonstrations social media messaging is underway amhara diaspora is involved too amhara peoples committee is releasing message for region wise protests i don't know what is amhara peoples committee uh, who are this committee's leaders are they in amhara region or are they just in social media but they are asking people to take to the streets on sunday it is being uh, said that all amharas must protest peacefully on sunday against uh, uh, attempt to uh, weaken amhara people the protest would be peaceful but it uh, would be against uh, uh, alleged genocide of amharas that amhara identity is in danger that is why people should come out now we don't know uh, what uh, are uh, what is the standing of this organization in amhara region relatively unknown group but if you remember uh, at the start of this month uh, when ethiopian celebrated adwa victory day before that two days before that celebration we heard a call for demonstration in support of zameen akasi in bahidar uh, on the same day on adwa victory day the the 2nd of march the protest was due to be held it was not allowed to be organized in bahidar we saw limited celebrations in connection with adwa victory day security forces prevented gathering in bahidar once again we are seeing call for protests across amhara region the protest can only be done if amhara regional government uh, is going to back the demonstration if regional government is against the demonstration no one will be allowed to protest on sunday let's see will update you on sunday amhara diaspora community has been trying to mobilize people in amhara uh, in diaspora and in amhara region in ethiopia uh, we saw their objectives uh, stated by them very clearly when they held meetings in washington dc uh, this week grand amhara convention was held there where uh, canadian and american diaspora community participated they asked people to unite amhara people to launch a struggle against uh, the federal government to remove pm rb they proposed boycott of the government boycott of uh, 
Ethiopian federal institutions, they urged people that they should not send any dollars to the federal government of Ethiopia. So a lot happened and they've been trying to mobilize people in Ethiopia as well. Now we're seeing messages from Amhara activists based abroad backing Sunday's demonstration. So this demonstration is definitely linked to Ethiopian government's announcement to dismantle regional forces. Regional forces uh, are going to be dismantled tomorrow on uh, Saturday. A key meeting is due to be held in all regions of Ethiopia, uh, where modalities will be finalized for the dismantling of regional forces. Uh, Amhara region based groups say that uh, OLA is not disarmed, Tigray fighters not completely disarmed, only heavy weapons have been surrendered by Tigray fighters. So at this crucial time when both TPLF or Tigray fighters and OLA fighters have not been completely disarmed, Amhara special forces are being dismantled. It could be a threat to the survival of the Amhara people. That is why we are seeing this narrative being built by diaspora, by some groups in the Amhara region, that Amhara identity is in danger. People should protest peacefully. Let's see, will Amhara government back Sunday's demonstration or not? Coming two days crucial. Secondly, viewers, Geta Choreda, Tigray interim government president, uh, along with his delegation, was in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital, where he held extensive discussions with uh, Ethiopian uh, federal government officials. He visited Adama, where Oromia members of parliament hosted a dinner for Gatacho and his delegation, uh, no news of uh, Gatacho's meetings with top Amhara leaders or his visit uh, to the Amhara region. The Amhara Tigray relations very strained. Uh, Gatacho held a meeting with uh, Tigrayans living in Addis Ababa, Tigrayan businessmen. Uh, when TPL was in power, Addis Ababa's businesses were dominated by Tigrayans. Uh, but after EPRDF's uh, dissolution, uh, after TPLF was removed from Addis Ababa, these businesses came under pressure. During two year long war, several businesses were closed. Several were forcibly taken by government or government bad groups. And it could be uh, one of uh, the issues which will come under discussion between Tigray, uh, People Liberation Front and Ethiopian federal government in near future. Tigrayans want their businesses, their properties back in Addis Ababa. Meeting was held between Gatacho and his delegation and Tigrayan community in Addis Ababa. Uh, and where Gatacho asked uh, Tigrayan businessmen to play their role to contribute uh, to rebuilding and reconstruction in Tigray. Uh, we saw that uh, Gatacho spoke there. Uh, Sadgan spoke as well. Tigray TV, DW TV are sharing pictures, videos of this meeting. Abraham Valle was there too. Tigrayan, Minister of uh, Defense. Uh, who served as Tigray interim government head uh, in 2021. He was appointed by Ethiopian federal government. Back then, Tigray uh, fighters were fighting in uh, Tambien. Uh, he was there. Uh, Vadi Eshebar was there to Tigray's general. Today, I say, where they was nowhere to be seen. Uh, only uh, two uh, speakers uh, delivered speeches, Gatacho and Sadkan. That is what we have seen watching videos shared by Tigray TV and uh, DW TV. We could not find uh, Tadasa Varade in the video's pictures. He was not there. Or he was there, but he did not speak at uh, the meeting between uh, Tigrayan in Addis Ababa and Gatacho's delegation. I think he was missing. Uh, where was he? Because he accompanied Gatacho to Addis Ababa reportedly. He was part of the delegation. 
did PM Abhi back his appointment as uh, deputy president? It's not clear. PM Abhi uh, refused to accept. That is why Gatacho uh, was appointed uh, in uh, the Bratzian's place. Uh, will PM Abhi approve uh, Tadasse Varede's appointment in some position in Tegara? It's not clear. He went to Addis Ababa with, uh, with, with Gatacho, but he was missing from this key meeting. I will try to find out uh, what is happening. Uh, Gatajo is trying to take both on board, Varade and Sadkan. What about PM Abhi? Is he ready to give uh, positions to both channels in Tegarai? That's not clear. Gatajo cannot make decisions on his own. He needs approval from the federal government. Thank you for watching.